welcome back. Today I am spring cleaning my house. It's probably gonna take more than one day, but I thought I would bring you along with the journey. And I have my free printable, which I'm going to follow. And I'm gonna put the link below so you guys can download this free thing and clean along with me. I am totally ready to spring clean, like have the apron on and everything. So when I spring clean my house, I kind of pretend that I'm a cleaning company and I'm really doing it like a professional would. No, I'm, I'm not doing that type of spring cleaning. But, um, so step one... <laughs> my husband would like it if I did that type of spring cleaning. <laughs> Starting at the top and working my way down. So I make sure I have all my tools and I'm totally prepared. I've got my little cleaning caddy filled of all the things that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start at the very top with the ceilings. I just take a regular mop, you can use a broom handle, anything, and just I just tied on a clean soft rag with a hair elastic. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and soft and you wanna get all your corners and all those little cobby webs. A really good thing to also tackle with this would be like the chain of your light fixtures and um, you know, anything that's really high up like that. You'd be surprised. We don't normally look at our corners and things like that when we're cleaning our home and you'll be surprised you might find more cobwebs than you thought. Now that we've got all the cobwebs from the corners and dusted, you know, the ceiling a little bit, it's time to move on to other things that are up top. Now it's time to dust the things that are really up high. And while I love my feather duster, you don't want to dry dust. You want a wet dust. And what wet dusting is basically is just using um, a pail, or I'm going to use a bowl in this case, with some warm soapy water and a clean rag. And then you're going to wet dust the things that are up high. So what I'm going to wet dust is the top of the kitchen counters, the top of the curtain rods, the top of the doors and door jams and window sills, all those things that really get neglected and can collect dust over time. And wet dusting is going to make sure that you're not just knocking it down, but you're actually eliminating it from your home. <laughs> The tops of my doors were really, really, really filthy. I totally neglect this area. And as you open and close your doors, if you're not dusting the top of them, that dust is just gonna blow all over your home. So take a few minutes, wipe the tops of your doors, the door jams, the top of the windowsills, the top of your cabinets, and your light fixtures. Don't forget about the cobwebs. That's it for today. Make sure you download the spring cleaning checklist. I'm gonna put the link to it below. It's free. Get yourself an apron and maybe some rubber gloves and let's get to deep cleaning this week. I hope you guys join. I'm gonna create a playlist and put new videos up as I go ahead and spring clean my home. Hope to see you along that spring cleaning journey. Anyways, that's your quick tip. Wet dust, mop your ceiling for cobwebs. <laughs> that's about it. I will see you next time. I'm so into yellow right now for spring so I made this cute yellow pillow with felt and I made this printable which you can download for free from my website. I'll put the link below along with my spring cleaning checklist so you guys can follow along with me. I have the hiccups so bad. <laughs> I keep like re-recording them and uh, hopefully they're gone now. So um, the tops of my doors were filthy. I know... <sighs> Okay. <laughs>